Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge, a new era. A hundred generations have searched for this elusive path to peace, while a thousand wars raged across the span of human endeavor. And today that new world is struggling to be born, a world quite different from the one we've known. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause. And now we can see a new world coming into view, a world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. In the words of Winston Churchill, a world order in which the principles of justice and fair play protect the weak against the strong. A world where the United Nations, freed from Cold War stalemate, is poised to fulfill the historic vision of its founders. Um, and it's in, in, in it, the people who run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance. And then I think you have the Inspector General do some spot audits to make sure that there is real compliance. Can it really be said that we're building a new world order when it's almost exclusively the United States who will be fighting in the desert? It's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order, and instead it looks like we got a lot of disorder. A strategy for America in this period, when really a new world order can be created, it's a great opportunity. We have to bring about, together with other countries, a different consciousness of what a world order is. When our founders declared a new order of the ages, when soldiers died in wave upon wave for a union based on liberty. Put this in the process and realize, realizes what I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. Out of it came a new Europe, a new world order, a new consensus as to how life should and could be lived. I believe we, particularly you, your class, an incredible window of opportunity, made and shaped the new world order. because the global order is changing again. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure, have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see.